Hello everyone, my name is Sarah and today we're going to be talking about Inventora, which is the inventory system that I use for my online candle and metaphysical business. If you're new to my channel, I do like to talk about my business a lot and I also like to incorporate a lot of wellness and bettering yourself into my content. Today I thought would be a really good opportunity to talk about the inventory system that I've been using for a while because I just launched a week ago and I know that my inventory has changed a bit. The homepage of Inventora looks like this. I'm going to try and do like a picture in picture screen recording thing. Hopefully this works out well. This is the homepage of Inventora. If you look at this like tablet, the picture of the tablet, and you look at all the materials listed, you can definitely tell that the creator was a candle maker. Inventora was created by a couple, Diana and Jeremy. Diana actually had a home fragrance business. She was looking for an inventory system that did all the things that she wanted and it wasn't like insanely expensive and complicated and that's kind of how most inventory systems are. They just, they have a lot of crap involved that you don't need and then they don't seem to actually do the things that you actually want them to do. So her and Jeremy created the system Inventora and she was just using it for her business and then a lot of people started asking for access to it. So she actually made it accessible to the public back in February. I've pretty much been using it ever since it was available to the public and she's made a lot of updates and added a whole bunch of features. It's really cool. I'm going to kind of walk you guys through how to do everything, but it's really, really simple and easy and smooth. And you'll, you'll see, I'm going to link their Instagram down below because you can go on there and actually just talk to Diana. If you have any questions at all, she's super, super sweet. She's very responsive. She has answered every single question I've ever asked her. So what you're going to do when you get to the home screen is obviously you're going to want to sign up. I'm going to log in with the first email that I use where there's, there's really nothing on there, but they have two different pricing plans. One of them is free. And on the free one, you can pretty much get a feel of the entire system and decide if you want to use it or not. And then you can go with the paid version and the paid version lets you sync all of your inventory with Etsy and Shopify and stuff. I already am logged in. Okay. So after you do the sign up and you enter in all your information, you're going to be brought to this page. This is the materials page. The difference between materials and products, the materials is that's all the stuff that you buy. Like I'm going to kind of just talk about this as if I'm talking to a bunch of candle makers, but this will work for like any handmade business. But for instance, the materials page would be like your waxes, all your different fragrance oils, all of your different wicks, jars, all of your packing supplies, packing materials and stuff, shipping stuff. So just to show you guys, I'm just, I'm gonna add like two materials in here. Um, let's do a 464 wax. And see, we bought a 45 pound box, 45 pounds. It's really important that you choose the correct um, unit type whenever you enter this stuff. You'll see why in a minute. The minimum stock level is whenever it gets down to a certain amount, whatever we enter here, let's say 20 pounds, it'll turn red, which lets you know that you need to buy some more, put in another order. Cost per pound. I don't know how much 464 wax is, so let's just be lazy. Okay, so let's say that you spent hundred dollars for a 45 pound box. You would do hundred divided by 45 and that's $2 and 22 cents. SKU. I don't use this for materials. I use it for my products. I don't use it for materials category. This would be wax. Um, you'll type it in and it'll pull it up. And let's just say we got it from Lone Star. And then in the notes, you can write whatever you want. I normally write like what I bought it for last time. So I know if I'm getting a better deal. So like I spent hundred dollars on 45 pounds that's not pounds and then save it and now let's do another one let's do honeysuckle jasmine fragrance oil let's say we've got 16 ounces and you want it to turn red when you're at eight that's normally what i do cost per ounce i don't know <laughs> let's be lazy again cost per ounce so let's say we spent 20 dollars for 16 ounces. So that's $1.25 per ounce. You don't do the SKU. That is fragrance and pro candle supply. Um, $20 for 16 ounces. Okay. So obviously when you get all of your materials into this page, you're going to have a lot more going on here. So it's not just going to be two. 
but once you have everything into the page up here at the top where it says name and stock level that's where you can change the way that everything's organized i really only ever change it by supplier because whenever i am going and making an order online i can just organize everything by the supplier and then see all the stuff that i order from that supplier and then make it all in one order which actually really comes in handy and then from here, you can also change the stock level. So let's say you bought another 45 pound box. You can either click add or set. So we're buying another box, another 45 pound box of wax. So we can add that and then it'll make it 90 pounds. Or let's say that we realized we only actually bought an eight ounce jar of fragrance oil. Then you can change it over to set and it'll change it over to eight ounces. And if you need to go in and change them, you just click on the name and hit edit details. The materials page is really like the base for the entire, for your entire inventory system. So you have to make sure that you are really careful when you put in the information here, because it's gonna be pulling from all of this stuff on this page whenever you start your products. So for instance, let's make a candle now with the wax and the fragrance. and. Obviously, it's going to be very different because when you make a candle, there's a lot more that goes into it than just fragrance oil and wax, but this is just an example. So for a honeysuckle jasmine candle, uh, well, let's call it the rain candle, I don't know. And I always, whenever I'm adding a product into my products section, I always, always, always put the current stock level at zero because that's not important right now. I just want to focus on making sure that I get this, all this other information down perfectly. Minimum stock level, it's hard to be able to guess when you'll need to make new candles, but I started with it being at four. That's whenever it would turn red and let me know, hey, you should make some more of these candles. So materials used. This is where it's gonna show all of the materials that you have and you go through and you select the wax. Let's say we're doing a six ounce candle. So it'll be like 5.5 ounces and then half an ounce of Six ounce candle, yeah. So 5.5 plus 0.5. Whenever you put your own candles in here, there's gonna be a lot more materials in there. You're gonna have your jars and you're gonna have your wicks and your labels, wick stickers, whatever you use to stick the wicks at the bottom. Once you have everything in, then you're not gonna be guessing here. You need to be very, very accurate and precise about what goes into each candle because at the very bottom down here, it shows you exactly what your cost of goods is. Now SKU, what did I call it again? rain candle. I always choose letters from, from the first word and the second word, if it's two words. So Raka six, that's just what I do. I don't know. That might be a terrible system. And then notes. I don't think I need any notes, but if you need to put notes, it's there. After we have created our rain candle, we can come over here and look and see, you know, all of the details of what we entered, make sure that everything is perfect because once you have perfected each of your products, you don't really ever have to come in here again unless you actually change your formula or something. Because after this, the only thing you're really going to be messing with is the stock right here. So let's say we just did a batch and we made six candles. And this little pop-up comes down here, tells you exactly what it just took out of your materials list. So for six candles, it took a little over two pounds and three ounces of fragrance. And if for some reason this looks off to you and you want to go back, you can. You can hit the undo button. And now it has actually taken it out of all of our materials over here. So I just think that this whole system is really cool because I have been able to not have to worry about so much of like the math and converting things from ounces to pounds. Whenever I'm doing my inventory system, this just takes so much of the math and the hard work out of it because it does it all automatically. The third tab over here is going to be production. I'm sure that this can actually be used for a lot more than what I used it for, but what I used it for was like on, uh, on Monday, I had to make a bunch of different candles and like a bunch of different scents, but I only had to make like three or four of them, which you know, can get really tedious and annoying and you forget. So you have to constantly keep going back and looking at your inventory sheet. I just was able to put in how many of each product that I was supposed to make and then go in and check all of them off as I was done. And then it just it lets you know how far through the production run you are. There's probably more to this. I just, I've only used it one time. I did know that if you put a number in here that takes away more than what you have in stock, it lets you know, like right here, it just says, hey, you don't have enough honeysuckle jasmine fragrance oil for that 
All right, and then over here is gonna be the history section where you can see all of the things that you've done, all the changes that you've made. And I just found this out earlier today, but this button right here, you can go back into your history and undo something if you didn't mean to do it. Or it just shit happens and sometimes you're like, oh crap, why did I do that? And then adjusted all of my inventory and I can't go back. And I just found out earlier today that actually you can. So that's there, which is super helpful. And then there are reports, which shows you everything that you have and how much everything costs that you have. And then this is gonna be the page that I'm working with today on my other um, sign in, but audits. This is gonna be doing inventory checks. So you can click perform an audit and there's two different ways you can do it. You can do it with your materials or your products. I don't actually have like a whole crap ton of products. So I can just kind of look and see if I have what's listed on my inventory sheet. And if it's not, then, you know, I update it. The materials one is usually a pain in the ass. So that's the one that I like to do like inventory checks of at the very bare minimum, like once a month. You really should do it like once a week, not should. Whatever feels comfortable for you is what I should say. It's just, I know that a lot of people probably think, well, you know, because we all do really accurate measurements with all of our stuff as a candle maker, if the system already keeps track of inventory, why would we ever need to double check it? And true, but if you're anything like me, you don't always put everything into the inventory system that you do. And that's a bad habit that I need to break. But I notice that I'm, I will be off because sometimes you over pour like on fragrance oils, or sometimes you don't write down every single test candle that you made. I have done that many, 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 many times. So I'm always like a little bit off and I have to go in and just kind of adjust, adjust stuff. So from this page, we're gonna do an inventory check or an audit for the materials. We're gonna click start audit. And from this page, you can print out your, um, your inventory list, which I have mine up here. I noticed earlier that it prints, it doesn't look like this whenever it prints. It looks like this, where it has all of your stuff and then all of the expected amount that you should have. It has a little spot for you to write down what you actually have and then a space for you to write what the difference is. And then after having printed it out, I weigh everything mostly. Usually I am quite off on the packing supplies and the shipping supplies. That is like impossible to really be able to keep a current and accurate inventory on because you don't know how many candles a person's going to buy. So you don't actually really know how many boxes are going to get used with the products that you have. I don't know if that makes sense. I just, I have a really hard time keeping track of my, my packing and, and shipping supplies and stuff, but that's why I go in and I do this. I would like to be doing it once a week, but I don't. So anyways, I'm going to go around make all the marks and the reasons and write everything down and then come back into the system. Let's say that I weighed out my wax. So I had a, what, a 45 pound box. And then out of the other 45 pound box, I only had 40 pounds left. Then that would be 85 because 40 plus 45 is 85. And then it makes you write a reason for difference. Um, I'm just gonna write because, I mean, realistically don't write that, right? <laughs> write actually why, because you want to know why do I have less wax than I, than I should? What's the reason for that? It could help you end up finding out if you're maybe like making some mathematical errors before. I have done that before. I've made candles and then realized, wait, why did I only have enough to fill up two of these tins and, and not three? And the inventory system is what helped me figure it out. Fragrance. I don't know if y'all can say that, but it says fragrance. All right, and then we're gonna complete the audit and then it'll be listed here. And you can go into it and look at where it was, what, what what you did, what happened. I think that the reason that I like this system so much is because it is so simple. It's really, really, really simple and intuitive and it's just smooth. The whole thing just works really well. And up here, if you see, it says our Shopify and Etsy integrations are now available. That's what the $19 a month is for. So whenever you pay for inventory, you can actually sync your um, inventory system with Etsy and with Shopify. So let's say that you have both of them and somebody buys a candle from Shopify. It'll pull that inventory from Inventora, which will then also take it away from your Etsy inventory, which is really cool and it works vice versa and everything. So really the only place that you ever need to mess with your inventory is right here on Inventora. And if you get all of your materials and products and put everything in accurately, the only thing you're really gonna have to mess with is the stock levels. 
and it updates it on all the platforms for you. This has been so incredibly helpful just to keep everything going smoothly. I don't know how I would be doing all of this without Inventora. So thank you, Diana, for making such an amazing system. The free version of Inventora, you can still go in and do all of this. You can put all of your materials into the system. You can do all of your products and it'll update through the material. So you can still go in there and put all your stuff in and just kind of get a feel for it and see if you like it. And if you do, then you can pay for it and you can sync it with Shopify and Etsy. It's so simple. It's so easy to use. And the system Inventora does like all of the hard work for you. All the math is built into this system. So you don't really have to do anything but copy information over from like your receipts and stuff. In case you didn't notice that entire video, I have a really bad lisp right now because I bit my tongue earlier today. I do hope that this was helpful or at least entertaining to y'all. I just, I wanted to share Inventora because I have been using this for since like March, since like right after she uh, released it, I've been using this system and it's just made everything so much easier because I was trying to do all this stuff myself and it is a nightmare. I will have everything linked down below that I talked about and also Inventora's Instagram. And as always, be excellent to each other and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.